In Denmark, a bulldozer plows into a maximum security prison, crushing the wall into a cloud of dust. It was a tremendous day for the Danish prison. Nobody has ever seen anything like that before. Twelve inmates escape in a spectacular prison break. Albertsland, Denmark. In this sleepy suburb 20 miles outside Copenhagen is Witzlavila, one of Denmark's top maximum security prisons. The prison is from uh, uh, 1859 and some of the walls are even that old. The wall is uh, just uh, built off the, of bricks and, and concrete like any Danish uh, house would be built. The 19th century prison houses hundreds of Denmark's most dangerous criminals. We have terrorists, we have murders, we have gang members, we have uh, drug crimes. But Witzlavila warden Kim Anderson says that prisons in Denmark are not at all like their American counterparts. Here, they focus on rehabilitation instead of punishment. If you go into a, a, a prison wing in any Danish prison, I would say you wouldn't feel it more different than if you were in a Danish school. Still, nothing can take the place of freedom, no matter how comfortable the cell. And so on August 27, 1995, 12 prisoners try to regain their freedom in a remarkable escape attempt. Jarl Peterson, a guard on duty that day, says the prisoners were outside having their annual end of summer party. There were quite a lot of inmates in the yard that day, 120 to begin with. And the attitude among the inmates that they were extremely well. The barbecue winds down and prisoners file back into their cells. Brian Bo Larson, a prisoner serving three and a half years for armed robbery, is in the yard. The self-proclaimed escape king has busted out of various Danish prisons 20 times in his 19 years of incarceration and has been caught each time. Despite being over 20, Larson rarely misses an opportunity to run. On that day, he suddenly hears a crash. So when I'm almost a kid and I'm young, and so come at the end of the day, and I'm almost a kid, bang! The whole gun, I guess, but the guy can't do the whole gun. So, like, the whole thing is slow and slow. So, you see, when the guy comes out between the mud stones, like, it's like it's just slow. It's like it's just slow. Come on, just slow between the mud stones. And so, like, the guy comes out of the mud stones, and so, like, it's just slow. Guards think it's a bomb. But the explosion is actually the sound of a 25-ton bulldozer ramming into the prison wall, reducing it to rubble. When, when the wall crossed, I only think freedom, 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 and I run all the way uh, I could. Larson and a herd of other inmates bolt through the gaping hole, spilling out of the prison like air from a punctured balloon. Kai Herman, the deputy chief of detectives in the precinct, has never seen anything as strange as this. When I got here, it was total chaos. All the officers were outside running around searching for uh, the inmates. A nationwide manhunt begins for the 12 escaped inmates, five murderers, four bank robbers, and three drug smugglers. Definitely not people that we would like to be on the outside in a society like this. Detective Herman says that the escape was well planned in advance. A former inmate on the outside steals a bulldozer and coordinates with inmates on the inside using cell phones tossed over the walls. Brian Larson, the escape king, runs 12 miles to his girlfriend's house in Copenhagen. I was tired after 20 kilometers, but when you are signed and you can feel you get your freedom, you don't feel it. You don't stop for nothing. After an intense investigation and national media blitz, all 12 inmates are captured within a month of the wall coming down. Larson is captured after six days and given two weeks in isolation. Security is tightened at Witzlavila, including more surveillance cameras and the construction of a new outer wall. As for the original wall, it takes more than six months to rebuild it. We had a saying here uh, a few years ago, uh, don't lean against the wall, it might collapse. It should be quite solid now. One question, however, still stands. The cameraman who shot the spectacular escape, why was he there? Was he just very lucky, in the right place at the right time? Or was he somehow involved in the prison break? Rumors still swirl. The cameraman, Kim Falk, says that he was simply there by chance, awaiting a political rally. After the incident, he's questioned by police and released. 
no people is born to be in a small room. So uh, when you go inside a small room, uh, you will try everything to get out.